G'day guys, Kale here from ECO Road. Today we're on a bit of a different location. We're gonna run you through this full fit out that we've done in house on this seven meter CNC plate boat. Yes, we do boats guys. My background is a lot of stuff in marine. We know a lot of people in the industry. Battery systems, electrical systems, it's very, very similar to exactly what we do in our caravans and four wheel drives. This one's got it all guys. It's an awesome fit out for local fishing. This customer is gonna absolutely love it. We, this boat came to us as a bare hull, absolutely nothing. We've organized all electronics, the Garmin fit out, the upholstery, the wrap, the deck armor, the engine fitment, all your pumps, absolutely everything. Let's start at the front and run through this. Okay guys, starting at the very bow of the boat, we have got the Minn Kota. So this is a 36 volt, 84 inch shaft, absolutely perfect for this boat. It is just the manual deploy, but I like them because they never have any issues at all. In the anchor well here, we've got a little anchor winch, guys, making it a bit easier when pulling that anchor up. If not, you can send one of the boys up the front. Let's have a look on the roof. Okay, guys, the same as any car or caravan roof, there is some cool stuff up here. Starting with the solar panels, guys, two Red Arc 150 watt panels, so 300 watt of solar pumping into that lithium. That will run through in a minute. So, two aerials from GME, FM and VHF radios, guys. Very, very important to get them nice and high working well. Up the front, we've got a steady marine light bar. Yes, steady do a marine range as well. So that is awesome. Plenty of light going out the front. Garmin radar, guys. We're going to run through the Garmin in a minute with Scotty. This is the Phantom 18 radar. Super handy, guys, if you're traveling at night or if you want to drive past and see where someone's fishing. The Garmin MSC10, this is a digital sat compass, guys, and it's going to work with the uh, Garmin system for the heave compensation for your tranny. Run through that in a minute. Anchor light, of course, guys, the Minn Kota GPS and the Suzuki GPS. Okay, guys, the powerhouse, the heart of the boat. On the back, we've got the Suzuki 300 horsepower V6. Now, I love Suzuki. I've always had them in my boats. Never, ever let me down. Very, very reputable brand, guys. Digital gauges up the front. It talks to the Garmin on the network. Super handy, super quiet, very good on fuel, and plenty of power. He's going to move this seven-meter boat with ease. Down there, it's propped on a stainless prop, guys. Stainless props are very important. Very, very good performance, and they are very hardy, guys, if you were to uh, tickle that sand every now and then. Hydraulic steering on this, guys. With the autopilot, it is really, really nice. Transducer on the back. We're going to cover that in a minute when we talk about the Garmin and the zip wakes, trim tabs on the back. Very, very important for plate boats or any boat in general. Mono hull, zip wakes are automatic. You sit and forget they're going to level that boat up and get that nose down when you uh, punch it into a seat. Bilge pump in the hull here, guys. Very important as well. I've always been a strong believer in you can never have too many pumps. This is a big sea flow pump automatic system. So if you get water in the hull, there's gonna be an alarm that goes off, the pump's gonna come on, and you can also turn it into manual mode. Very important. Deck wash pickup down here, guys. It runs up. We've got the deck wash hose over there, and it also plums into our live bait tank with an auto feed out or a bung down here. And also, guys, not forgetting the underwater lights on the transom. They're a white and a blue, super, super handy when you're at night, and of course, it brings all the squid and the fish in. Okay, guys, moving forward. In the back corners of the gunnels here, we've got Electric Reel Andersons. They're a locally made billet product. They unscrew into your Anderson, all waterproof. Screw the top back on when you're not using them. Super handy, I love them, I got them in my boat as well. Let's have a look at the power system we've got in this sucker. Right, so. Normal standard uh, AC Delco marine battery. That's for starting the engine, guys, so that's pretty standard. We're running off to a 18 amp Victron DC DC charger that is feeding twin 180 DCS lithium batteries. So these are pretty much designed for boats 180 amp each, so 360 amp hours combined of usable power. Super handy. We've got the AC 10 amp Victron charger, so you can plug this in when we're storing it to make sure these are fully charged all the time. Now these batteries run off to a few things, but down the back here we've got a Revolution step up 12 volt to 36 volt converter. So 12 volt in from the lithiums, up to 36 volt to our Minn Kota, okay? 50 amp, it runs that one absolutely perfect. All our fusing and breakers, guys, super neat. Now we've got all our isolators up here. We can switch that emergency parallel and start the engine off the lithiums if we need to. So you've got solar pumping in, so this boat will never go flat. If you do run everything flat, just wait 10 minutes, get a bit of solar into these lithiums, turn that emergency switch and the engine will start and off you go again. You're charging in about 25 amps, 26 amps, 18 amps from him and about 10, 11 amps on the roof. So plenty of power. Let's have a look at what they're running. Okay, this customer said, I want to put a fridge in now. With these seat boxes and the way they are here midship, it is a little bit challenging, but we've made twin angle draw fridges work. 30 litre draw fridges in here. 
Super handy. You can run one as a freezer if you want, run as a fridge. Plenty of room to keep the beers cold and the food cold. Over here, guys, we've just got some uh, storage, an ample amount of storage. We've got our Garmin smart pump in there for the autopilot. A couple of fusion speakers on the back here facing that way, and a couple up front as well, and a couple up there facing down, so plenty of sound. Okay, moving into the cabin, guys, we've got twin fully waterproof marine spotlights up here shining down. You can face them in if you like. A couple of spin outs here to get to everything on the roof. Cabin lights up here, guys, we've got four, so plenty of light. These are awesome. These are a white and a red, so you can have the, the mood lighting on. Not so bright when you are fishing at night. As you can see, we've done all the carpet and the upholstery. We've got some bolsters around there that are nice, comfy when you're fishing on your legs. We've got the bed seats up here, guys. We've got twin helm seats here. These are super comfy with the bolsters that flip up and flip down. We've got the new BLA suspension seat bases here. These are awesome. They're adjustable. You can go back and forth. Spin round, they're uh, really, really nice actually. They do help with that, with that plate boat and the odd, uh, when you're traveling along, get that suspension. Okay guys, up in the cabin, as we said before, we've done all the uh, upholstery for the, for the seats for the bed, so there's plenty of room up here. A couple of lights guys, all our electrical fit out here with all the Garmin and everything, our full NMA 3000 network, all looking super, super clean, and all the fusing, everything is fully labeled. We also give a full schematic drawing and printout of what everything is and where everything's fused. Right guys, now on to the real magic of any boat, the Garmin fit out. Now, Garmin's no stranger, I've had it just about in everything. Cars, boats, caravans, absolutely love it. We work pretty closely with Scott from uh, Ocean Logic. I've known Scotty a long time, he's done all my boats. Absolute legend, mate. So, mate, tell us what you've put in this uh, this beast. Yeah, so this is our pretty much our standard uh, sports fishing package of what we do a lot of the boats of this style. So, starting with the, uh, the brains of the operation, you've got the 8416 from Garmin, the GPS map. Um, it does pretty much all the major features. It's one of their flagship models. Um, that's tied into a GSD-28 sounder module um, and a one kilowatt dual frequency transducer on the back. That's gonna give you that great image. We've also got the MSC-10 GPS compass. Now, this is a really understated product. What it does is takes heave, comp uh, heave out of the image. So you've got heave compensation built into your sounder. You're offshore in the swell. It's not interfering with your, your picture on the screen. Uh, autopilot with a brand new smart pump from Garmin. These things drive amazingly, so really good to have on the boat. We've got the Zipwake uh, automatic trim system on this, um, so this boat is level and pitched correctly no matter what you're doing. Uh, standard uh, fusion stereo system with speakers all through the boat and everything interface correctly. So the, the trick with these boats is you've got to get everything nice and tied in together to get the best result. Yeah, that's what I love about the Garmin. It all talks, yeah. We've got Beautiful. the Fusion on the screen, Autopilot on the screen, the Garmin watch. It is unbelievable uh, how it all interfaces together. Updates, the Active Captain app is awesome. Your maps and your update, all your chart, everything's on there. Mate, and I can tell you with that, going back a step with that GSD, uh, sounder box, put it in my boat, and gee, it makes a difference. It just clears everything up, giving those trainees a full maximum power, yeah? Mate, it is the, it's the best thing you can, in, in, to increase your ability with the sounding is, if you've just got a transducer and a screen, it's just chucking that sounder module in between, and it just clears up everything. Clearing it all up, yeah. So guys, yeah, 8416, autopilot, transducer, everything we need. I think this customer is gonna absolutely love it. He's gonna be stoked. So, thanks, Scotty. Um, look forward to doing some future builds with you guys, helping the uh, full drive guys out, mate. Bit of morale. <laughs> yeah, we'll come to the rescue, mate. Yeah, no worries. No, it's been good, mate. Okay, thanks, Scotty, for going through that Garmin system with us. We're out here on the water. Scotty's come out like he always does with his fit outs. We've fully calibrated the zip wakes, the MSC 10 sat compass, all the Garmin, the autopilot, the radar. It is working absolutely perfect. As you can see here guys, 8416 fits in here absolutely perfect. We did have to modify this dash and put this on for he wanted a flush mount system. Now Suzuki digital gauge, which I said is talking to the Garmin, which makes it super handy. Here we've got our autopilot, our zip brake controller down here. We've got our Victron monitor. So this is monitoring our house battery. So the twin lithiums down the back is coming up exactly what's going on here. Super clean, super easy. They've all got a Bluetooth app. Power going in, power going out, the percentage of the batteries, how long left. Super clean, as, as I said, absolutely love it. Over here, we've got our anchor winch, up and down controls, the bilge pump, as we said before, auto manual with an alarm. All our switching, super easy, super clean. Yes, we can do digital switching and all that fancy stuff, but this is super clean and neat, and it is practical, and it works. Obviously, Suzuki controls over here, guys, and the steering wheel. Not forgetting up top of the cabin here, guys, Fusion, Bluetooth, 
Marine audio system. So we've got all the speakers, FM, Bluetooth. Again, it's talking to the Garmin. You can control it on your Garmin watch to change songs. Super awesome. GME VHF. Master compulsory in any boat. VHF guys, if you ever get in trouble, you can talk to your mates. Everything up there. And of course down here, we've had a little uh, custom glove box made. Store your phones and bits and pieces in there. Okay guys, that is a wrap of this full fit out of this seven meter CNC alloy plate boat guys with the big Suzuki and the full Garmin system. So if you've got a new boat guys and want to talk to us about a custom fit out, give us a shout today. We work with all the leading industry experts guys. We can organize absolutely everything for you from trailers to wraps to the sea deck, seats, upholstery, battery system, engines, obviously all your Garmin, all that sort of stuff guys. Give us a shout, have a chat. We've been in the game a long time doing absolutely everything across marine, four wheel drives, caravans, you name it. Give us a shout, jump on our socials, check out our website. I'll talk to you today. <laughs>